So for the eyes, ears, nose, and throats, the biggest thing with the eyes that you're probably gonna see, especially with our elderly population, glycoma, you're gonna see a cloudy eye. Now for cataracts, you'll see a blue halo on the perimeter of the eye. Now if the patient did have cataract surgery, it's gonna look like metal prongs inside the eye. Now the other thing you might see is also liver disease patients. They're gonna have jaundice in the sclera, so right on the whitening of the eye and even under the bottom of the eyelid for cirrhosis as well as hepatitis patients. Now moving on to the ears, when we start looking inside the ears, one of the biggest things is an earache, redness inside the ear canal upon inspection. You also have a diagnosis of Meniere's disease, which is basically fluid inside the ear. Just think my ears disease. You lose a little bit of balance because of the fluid in your ears. So jumping to the throat real quick, the top two things we usually see is strep throat, which are just like white splotches in the back of the throat, as well as an inflamed uvula. Now for the nose, you might see a little bit of crusties and you wanna make sure to clean your patient up. But you also get dry mucous membranes, especially if patients are on long-term oxygen therapy. Now, since we're in the throat and mouth area, we'll have the patient smile, and this is to assess uh, a stroke or even a history of a stroke. If the patient has one-sided weakness on one of the smiles, just like this, then it typically means either a new stroke or a history of an old stroke. Next is the gums. So we'll have the patient smile real big, and if the gums are inflamed or even red, bleeding, typically means gingivitis. Oral thrush is a fungal infection, which is a white coating of the tongue. We typically see that when a patient is taking steroids or inhaling steroids for a respiratory issue. Now, if the tongue is red and beefy, then it typically means pernicious anemia, so a B12 deficiency. Now, moving on to the neck here, one of the biggest assessments is for JVD, which is basically jugular vein distension. This is typically for our fluid volume overload patients who are in heart failure exacerbation. Fancy words for worsening heart failure. So just remember, HF for heart failure, HF for heavy fluid. If your patient is reclined, it'll put a lot more pressure and have it protrude more. Now, another thing you'll find is the lymph nodes. For lymphoma, you'll see enlarged lymph nodes and painless lumps, even on the side of the armpit and the axilla, but usually in this area. Now, for thyroid, a big one is a goiter. We usually have a grapefruit-sized neck that's just protruding right here. Now, if a patient does have a history of a thyroidectomy, you'll see a surgical scar right over here. Now, the fourth thing you might see in this area is either a trach as well as even tracheal deviation, which is typically from a pneumothorax, where the entire trach gets pushed to the side. All right, guys, that wraps it up for the top most frequent things you'll find on a head-to-toe assessment. Hopefully this video was helpful. Thanks, Kat. Thank you.